Jay-Z's Rock Boys, part of Willie's playlist, Willie's first official day. Of course, you all know if you watch him in, uh, you know, Morning Joe, you know he's a man of style. I can't think of that, Al. That means a lot coming from you. Look at this, the knit tie, the pocket square, he's got it all. But we all could learn a thing or two from the stylish folks at GQ. Will Welch is senior editor, as well as GQ, the style guy. Foolproof solutions for looking your best and succeeding in the world. Good morning to you, Will. Morning. All right, Will so and Willie. What's, yeah, the, that's the, right. what's the overriding philosophy we should be thinking about for guys who want a little makeover? Yeah, I think the number one thing is to not worry too much about getting fancy. You really want to make sure you're nailing the basics, especially okay. in the business environment. And, okay. And for us cleaning up, we used to think, yeah. you know, bar a lava soap, you were done. Right, right. <laughs> a little bit more now. Yeah, there's a little more going on. And, uh, I mean, the first one here is there, there are certain things at GQ we think you should spend a little money on. Face wash isn't one of them. It's just Cetaphil from the drugstore, 10 mm -hmm. bucks. Clean the oil off your face in the morning. Okay. Uh, that, that's number one. And what do we got over here? Uh, here, we got two things. One is a little hair product. It's what I use this morning. I use it every day. And it just gives you a little shine, lets you style your hair without looking like you're on Jersey Shore. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ID Puffer? Yeah, I did puffer. Had a couple drinks the night before. Didn't maybe Never. Didn't work, or working too late. Maybe just okay, working too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't yes. get enough sleep. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, you got a little bags going under your eyes. This is just a little stick from Kiehl's. Rub it Boom. under your eyes. Off it goes. And none of that's terribly expensive, which no, is a good. No, news. twenty bucks. All right, let's move on to soup. Yeah, here. sure. What should we be thinking about? Well, the, the keys for us for suit is value and versatility. Mm -hmm. uh, this is 399 bucks for suit supply. Three years ago, you could not get a suit this nice for 399 bucks. The versatility part is this is just a simple pale gray suit. If you change the shirt, change the tie, change the shoes, you could get away with wearing this twice a week. Gingham shirts, are, they've been in now for the last couple of years. Yeah, and I don't think they're going anywhere. Uh, one thing we think is uh, it's important to get away from blue and white every single day. Mm -hmm. And so, only 59 bucks, that shirt, Yeah, that's nice. right. Ties are getting thinner. Yeah, ties are getting thinner. Uh, we, we like think that, Al? Well, not for a chunky guy. <laughs> uh, not chunky, uh, you can get away with these. Uh, this wool tie here, one thing, you know, the difference between a guy who just gets dressed in the morning and a guy who has great style is someone who dresses seasonally. This wool tie is for fall and winter. You're wearing a mm -hmm. heavier weight suit. The heavier weight tie kind of keeps everything in proportion. What about combinations? People always worry about this. Like, what kind of tie do I yeah. wear with the shirt? So say I've got a gingham shirt on there. Is there a rule about what you can wear with that? Right. Well, a gingham shirt like that with purple, you know, you don't want, like, patterns clashing with patterns. Right. But I think, in general, guys worry about that too much. More, more things go together than guys think. Okay. So How about our just outerwear? Just go for it. Yeah, the outerwear. This is really important. You know, the... Um, one thing that, that uh, every man needs is a top coat. You know, you see guys wearing North Face jackets and the tails of their yes. suits are hanging out from below it. Like, don't be that guy. Every gentleman <laughs> don't needs be a that proper guy. top coat. Uh, this one's Banana Republic, 275 bucks. Wow. And the key is really? it'll go with every suit in your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. You don't want a top coat that you can only wear with certain suits. Sure. This one goes with them all. Okay. And what about yeah. up top? Al's got to cover this beautiful dome. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Well, uh, one thing I think about winter, these winter accessories, hats, gloves, scarves. This is, one screams well. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. We chose that one just for him. Let's see it. It's the pom pom hat. The key to the pom pom hat you is. You can make this work. I, I think can. You, got but it. you can. Yeah, you, you all it. you yes. need is some curled shoes. <laughs> <laughs> world's tallest elf. Is this an elaborate setup on my first day? <laughs> yes, yeah, the these prank, are in. This is the prank cool. part of the segment. It's, yeah. With a, with a pom pom hat, your boss isn't going to see you in it, you know? Well, my boss is going to fire me if I walk in there. I think I'm nuts. And what about the casual look? Uh, the, well, this is the workout. This is the workout look. You know, if you want to see some scary style, go to the gym. Oh yeah. You know, you got guys in pit stain fraternity <laughs> shirts. You got guys in Allen Iverson shorts. Uh, this is how we think we should dress at the gym at GQ. Keep it really simple. Not a lot of logos. Everything fits slim. So when you're ex on the exercise bike, there's not a bunch of fabric getting in the way. Uh, this is our intern George. All right. Our models are our all-star intern. Okay, uh, okay. Looking good, George. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. But you know, an American apparel shirt, plain. No logos, Tom. some Nike shoes, no pit easy. Stains. No, no pit, pit stains. Please, good. no pit stains. Will Welch, thank you so much. Thanks, Will. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, and we're going to be 